Hi, in this tutorial I'll introduce you to layers and show you some of the ways that they can be used in your DrawPlus creations. When you begin a new drawing in DrawPlus, the document contains a single layer on which you draw your objects. This layer can be seen in the Layers tab. To display the objects contained on a layer, click the arrow next to the layer to expand it. Objects created on a layer are stacked in order from back to front. On the Layers tab, the object that's at the back is at the bottom of the tab. By default, if I add a new shape to my page, you can see that it's added to the top of the stack on the Layers tab. For simple designs, one layer is usually sufficient, but if you're working on a complex document, it's a good idea to separate groups of objects onto different layers. To add a new layer to a document, just click the Add button at the bottom of the tab. You can add as many layers as you need. You can then choose which layer you're editing and make changes without fear of modifying anything on another layer. In essence, by building up your drawing from multiple layers, you make it much easier to edit. Let's now look at a slightly more complex document. If I expand a layer, you can see thumbnail previews of any object that's on the layer. To see a larger preview, hover over the thumbnail. You can also select an object, or group of objects, by clicking the representative thumbnail. The coloured line under each layer's properties buttons indicates the colour of the selection bounding box and highlight of all of the objects on this layer. You can rename layers and change the colours assigned to them from the layer's properties. Right click the layer and choose layer properties from the menu. Type in a new name, then click the colour swatch to change the colour. On the layers tab, the name and colour has updated. Now, when I select an object, you can see that its bounding box has changed to match our new colour. You can use the buttons at the bottom of the layers tab to add and delete layers and change the layer order. You can also edit all layers at once and change the view of all layers simultaneously. To the right of each layer you'll see three icons. You can use these to lock and hide layers and to assign paper textures. Let's have a look at how these work. I can add a paper texture to the background layer. Next, I can hide the layers and redisplay them at any time by clicking the eye icon. Finally, I'll lock one of the layers. You can see now that I'm unable to select any of the objects on this layer. This is really useful to protect your drawing while you are working on another area. If you need more information, see the How To tab, DrawPlus Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.